How dare you call Dr. Akeem weird? He's, uh, look, he is weird, I'll admit it, but you know, he's got, he's got spirit. Is being weird a bad thing? I mean, we're all a little weird, right? We're all a little mad. We're all a little clown. That's another thing I did not like about Jared Leto. Remember when Jared Leto got upset that they didn't cast him for Joker? And they casted Joaquin Phoenix um, instead? No, but I'm not surprised that he, he got he, mad about he, that. He, like, was upset. And I was like, bro, this place like, really he would is not sleeping village. He would not have played that role like Joaquin Phoenix did. Oh, no. I thought you were going to say, do you remember when he would, like, pull pranks on people as the Joker on the Suicide Squad set? And oh. I was like, yes, I'll never forget that. I did I feel like I didn't know about that either. R really? Were they bad pranks, or were they just, like, was it just, like, yeah. Jared fucking oh, stuff? God, I, I need to know the exact ones. Hold on. He would put, like, hold on. Suicide Squad? Yeah, on the Suicide Squad set, when he played Joker. Everywhere Jared Leto tormented his Suicide Squad history of the McRib. Avoided speaking to anyone out of character. Okay. Uh, his day-to-day -day demeanor almost made Viola Davis resort to Mace. Davis also never met the real Leto either. Instead, she met a guy she wants to do pepper spray in the face. It got so crazy that there were times during filming that I had heart palpitations. Not only heart palpitations, but at one point I said, did I suffer from hearing loss? What? Couldn't stop laughing on set. Okay. He sent oh Smith God. a box full of bullets and a letter. Jared went full Joker. <laughs> and the rule is never go full Joker. Is this real? Is this real? <laughs> this, this looks like an Onion article, I but know, this is actually I real, God. dude. This doesn't look like a real No, dude, I remember. I remember these articles coming out. He sent Margot Robbie a love letter and a rat. At first, I was like, this is disgusting, Robbie said on The Tonight Show. It jumped out at me, so I got a fright and got off to a rough start. Despite co-stars urging her to dispose of the animal, Robbie gave it a home, tricked out with a rat-sized playpen. You know what? This speaks more on Margot Robbie than anything. Oh, yeah, Margot Robbie's a gem. The rat now lives with Guillermo del Toro? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? He sent... I don't know how to pronounce that, and I don't want to mispronounce it. Sticky... Sticky... <laughs> Sticky Playboy magazines. But those gifts upset... <laughs> upset. The killer croc acted in a unique way. It just oh wasn't right. Yeah. Dude, You're gonna have that kind of party. Part. Wait. Oh my god. Everyone this received the... dirty condoms and anal beads. What? I did a lot to create a dynamic, an element of surprise, spontaneity, to break down any walls that may be there. Break down any walls? I feel like he put up a lot of walls after he did <laughs> this. What does it mean, dirty? Does that mean they uh, were used? Uh, yeah, I would assume so. The Joker is someone who doesn't respect personal space or boundaries. Jared Leto was the... <sighs> okay. Okay, the next dude. part is what I was thinking of, and that's that's why Wait. Jam said what he said. On his day off, Leto shipped a video message and a dead hog to set. Basically what he said was, Guys, I can't be there, but I want you to know I'm doing my work as hard as you guys. Recounted Coach Adam Beach. After the gang played the message, one of Leto's henchmen dropped a dead pig on the table. It blew our minds away. We realized that day this is real, holy hell. He met with psychiatrists and emulated their most damaged- What?! He yeah. emulated their most damaged patient's quirks? That's kind of fucked up. I think this movie fucked this guy up, honestly, because I don't remember Jared Leto being this weird before this movie. You don't know what the Joker's gonna do next. Okay. Gave everyone a dildo and a switchblade when they wrapped- This shooting. isn't even Joker- act Like- This is just him being- Activity. This is him being literally like a high school edgelord. Yeah, literally. How am I? How can I be cringe, edgy, and unhinged? Not like the Joker. Yeah, this is not Joker. He constantly gave birth to himself. What? Hey, I don't know what that means. Director David Ayer's words, not ours. He constantly has to give birth to himself. 
He goes away, he comes back, he shoots, he goes away. The Joker is something you have to be, and you can see how exhausting and painful it is for him to be this character, but you can feel it when he comes to work. The crew feels it, everyone feels it. It's like the bird stop line. See, here's the thing. This is, he's talking about Suicide Squad. He's talking about the original Suicide Squad. Yeah, and the movie he was in for 12 minutes, if that, yeah, probably less. He didn't, he didn't even get to be Joker that much, I feel like. No. He acted I mean, like sure, an I think a lot of his scenes got cut, but still. He also acted like an animal. Leto spooked random city folk with his Joker cackle. I worked on the laugh walking around the streets of New York and Toronto, and I kind of would walk around the streets and see what laughs would get under people's skin. Leto told Squawk Box, he's right, really, okay. Claim responsibility for the cast worst oh, No, no. Out of every city to do that in, if you're going through New York doing that, you're a psychopath. You're asking to just get killed. Yeah, absolutely. <sighs> A good song. I hear asked each actor to recall the dark moments in their lives. We all shared really deep stories about ourselves and our pains and our triumphs. Smith said at Suicide Squad San Diego Comic Con panel. And then on set, you thought he was being a nice guy and you were trying to share your life. And then in the middle of a scene, he throws your childhood trauma back at you and says, Dude, the Joker did it! <laughs> it's a great way to end that article. <laughs> <laughs>